Yo, you right guys? Uh, wasn't going to do a video on this because I've got a video to come out. Uh, I've got a problem. This tractor's been parked here for uh, uh, 24 hours now. I've just been on touch with the mechanics. I, um, oh, so many holes down here. Um, I got my tipper up. Now it won't go down. Tried everything. And the mechanic was telling me that uh, the pipe in here, you have, um, and I know, I know what he means, you've got like a little ball in the middle, and this is an old pipe. And I have had a few issues before with it. Very rarely I use a trailer, because it's only for empty and horse manure. I think last time I used it was a year ago, so this pipe's been outside for a year, not been used. And I think what's happened is the ball has actually jammed in the hose. So when I try to, I've got all the arms down, as you can see, trying to release the pressure. You see I'm on here, Every, everything, everything is on or down. And I think what's happened, the ball inside is jammed. And there's no, there's no oil. The, the the oil is not coming through I, I don't like working on stuff like this because it's it's just scary and when I did lift it up the this part here the valve had blown and oil as you can see that was yesterday it just squirted up all over the trailer and there's no way I know yes it's best to put boards underneath I'm not even working under there. I won't even. I'm not even going to attempt because that's stupid to walk under there. I'm keeping well away from from it. But yeah, it's best to put boards up, a stabilizer, so it doesn't drop down. So uh, what I've been advised off the mechanic is to be very cautious when I'm doing it. Is to somehow get a, a screwdriver, hammer, and see if I can bring this out. He said there's got to be a lot of pressure there, so I have to be a watch out for the pressure. I have had it happen to me before, where I've pulled the pipe out and got covered in hydraulic oil. It's not a nice experience, and do, to be honest, I don't want it to happen again. So this is what's happening today. I was supposed to be laying pipes today, but no, that's been delayed. I got the machine, got the implement on the back. But um, I need to get this problem sorted out. So I'll give you some updates on it. It's just... Like I said, it's very, very rarely that uh, the trailer gets used. Pack it up outside the stables, let the, the ladies uh, they just fill it up with their horse manure. And I think the last time I used it, like I said before, it was about a year ago. I'll, I'll kind of blame myself because what I should have done, I should have literally um, checked, checked the pipe, made sure the ball was working properly, but I didn't. And I just went ahead and tipped it. All right, guys, I'll try and do some more updates of it. The tractor, um, it's still got to go in uh, to get the ball joint done. I think it was the other side. But uh, the, both of the mechanics are still down with COVID-19. And they're the only mechanics. And their work's building up. So it's got to be week, two weeks before I can get this sorted out. Because the diesel leak is getting worse. And I just can't find them, you know. I don't want to take it somewhere else because it's 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 in the middle of a job. This tractor, right? Anyway, but apart from that, that's my problem for today. I'm gonna go and get some tools and get this sorted out. I got it off. What I had to do, I had to get the screwdriver and the hammer, and I had to put it there and just gently tap that and it released it released the pipe and uh, not too much oil came out which was great 
So I think I can't get in. Where's the camera gone? <laughs> I don't know, what am I doing? There we are. I think um, that the nipple on the end, I think that's damaged. So the way, only way to get that down is to do this. As you can see, I've been doing it. Still just gently Try to do it like that without getting covered in oil. Okay, there's, there's got to be a lot here. So basically, let's see what happens. Oh, God, that's a lot. That's a lot of oil. Watch. It's coming down now. Does that look looks what? I don't know. Oh man, that's a lot of oil. It's coming down as you can see. The last bit, and I've got covered. Well, not covered, but ah, oh, I'm all, I'm a morning bugger, Anna. <laughs> so, right, it's down. So what I think is, I need a whole new end piece. I think it would be better off getting a new new end piece. To be honest with you. Right, okay. There's nothing I could do about the oil. Any comments? <laughs> Any comments that I didn't... Luckily, I'm in a field. And um, so it's not like I was on the side of the road because I wouldn't have done that if I was on the side of the road. I would have taken better precautions and rather than getting it squirted about. But the good thing is I can... I can take the trailer back to the... Um, people with horses and that oh. so thank you for what so that's that done Yes, before anybody says anything, I'm not using the right pin, but I, I'm not going on the road. I'm only going across the field, but still, I should not be using that pin. I forgot to bring one of my pins out, and that's that's a gate post pin. So, yeah, but I'm wary of that. Well, I'm glad it's down. Hopefully I can get on with my other jobs now. Right guys, uh, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who watches my channel. Please subscribe. Uh, thumbs up. Hit the bell button. And um, and see what, hell, what else happens at Eberway's farm. Right, catch you all later now.